Hey guys, hope everyone is enjoying 2024 so far. Um, this video won't be a study vlog since my second semester hasn't begun yet. But I want to show you guys how I'm going to prepare for it using Notion. This is a tool I've been using since the beginning of university. And I would say it has definitely helped me organize my life a lot. So yeah, before I carry on with this tour, I just want to thank Notion for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about them, it's an organizational tool that you can use and customize for pretty much anything that you want. And I would say that I'm an enjoyer of sponsorship money, but this is a tool that I genuinely use and would recommend to you guys. So yeah. This is my dashboard that ties everything together and I don't really use this page that much but I did spend a lot of time picking out these icons just to make things aesthetic. But there are main five sub pages, my study scheduler, YouTube, workout, goals, and journal. This is my study scheduler and this is probably my most important page. It basically allows me to plan and organize for every single one of my assignments. So once I receive my syllabus, I'll just plug everything in and then I won't have to worry about it too much. Alright, so I can just click on the calendar here, type in my assignment name, attach it to its course, and there you go. I can also adjust the mastery level, so let's say I don't feel very confident in this one, I can say mastery low, then go over to the review tab, and then I can see which assignments to allocate more or less time towards. Over here in the curriculum section, I can see all my courses for the semester and I can also plug in and view the information associated with it and all the assignments attached to it. A lot of times I procrastinate, it's just me overthinking and complicating things that are quite simple and so I would recommend everyone organize and keep your calendars as clear as possible just to eliminate any chances of confusion. I also use Notion to organize my YouTube. so. This content planner works basically the same as my study schedule and I like to keep all my ideas and plans in these separate tabs and when I want to commit to any of them I just add them to the schedule like this and platform YouTube status to be filmed. And that's it, that's all I do for my YouTube. It's currently the next morning, yesterday I didn't really feel like filming anymore so here we are but yeah. Let's continue where we left off. So this is my workout page. I recently added this weight tracker for my big three compound lifts. And some people say that working out is all about improving every single day. While during exams, I was worsening every single day. And that is why I hope this tracker helps me monitor my progress a bit more during the second exam. Anyways, this page used to be just for storing my recipes, which functions more as a calorie tracker for foods that I eat a lot. That's why you can see stuff like four spoons of peanut butter here. Um, when I don't get enough calories in, usually I just default to that. And I wouldn't say my diet in uni has been exceptionally good, but it's kind of just like the typical uni survival diet with pasta, rice, ramen. And in my case, I would add a lot of healthy smoothies to balance that out. I was blending broccolis, and it doesn't taste that bad with fruits, by the way. My roommate saw me, and he was giving me like the craziest side eye. So, I hope I do develop some better recipes this semester, because I do appreciate good food from time to time. I also feel like when I don't exercise or work out, I feel less productive or focused. I think exercise in general is just a gift that keeps on giving, so yeah, I don't think it should have been neglected. Finally, let's talk about this new page that I created, which will help me plan and achieve my goals in 2024. Um, this year, I want to center most of my goals around productivity and personal growth, since I have a lot of interests outside of just studying. 
I believe 2020, I was going to say 2024 was going to be a great year, but whatever. Let's just get into some goal setting, I guess. For the first goal, I would say something like post weekly on YouTube. As you guys may know, last semester, I wouldn't say I was the most consistent poster, but yeah, this year I want to prioritize YouTube a bit more. Also, Instagram, it's a bit dead there, but trust me, I haven't forgotten. Another goal that I would want would be to maybe read five books this quarter. Um, a lot of times when I'm stressed or busy, I just ignore it, but there are a lot of successful people who are way busier than I am, and they still somehow make time to read, so I can't really make excuses. Alright, here's what it looks like after I included a bit more goals. I won't include ones that are too personal, but yeah. Down here I have a habit tracker for some key healthy habits like journaling, reading, and sleeping 8 hours. Last semester I told myself I was going to lock in and do a lot of things, but I didn't really hold myself accountable with anything and so it went pretty inconsistent, especially the sleep part. This tracker allows me to see my streak, so I will feel the need to not break it when it grows bigger. It also feels kind of like a game, which is good, I guess. 